Enjoy the settled weekend NSW because a cold front crossing on Tuesday will bring a range of wild weather from Monday to Wednesday. Image, synoptic chart for 10 p.m. S. Monday 22nd ahead of the front on Monday, warm winds blowing from the northwest will pick up, reaching 70 to 80 km per hour over the southern and central tablelands. Then the front will move through southern and western NSW on Monday night, delivering rain and spreading a massive pool of cold air. Image, 10 meters winds, 2 meters temp at 10 a.m. S. Tuesday 23rd, a GMWF model, showing colder temperature behind the front and blue this may produce an uncomfortable temperature contrast for some places. For example, Broken Hill is forecast to reach a top of only 13 C on Tuesday after reaching a nicer 21 C on Monday. With the front pushing through, snow will fall over the snowy mountains on Monday night in the southern tablelands on Tuesday morning, and as the cold air spreads further north, snow will fall over the central tablelands and the northern tablelands overnight on Tuesday with a few centimeters accumulating by Wednesday morning. This may produce a delightful snowy landscape for some but also pose some risk on the roads. Meanwhile, as the front produces rain and showers, a trough ahead of the front should trigger thunderstorms during Tuesday afternoon across Greater Sydney, the Hunter and further north around the ranges, producing plenty of flashes of lightning and rumbles of thunder and potentially damaging wind gusts. Image, 3 hourly precipitation at 1 p.m. est on Tuesday 23rd, a GMWF model, as if that's not enough, a powerful low-pressure system may form off the coast as the front crosses the coast on Tuesday night. This low could potentially cause damaging winds along the coastal fringe overnight into Wednesday morning, possibly between the Illawarra and the Hunter, as well as cause heavy showers, and quickly whip up rough seas. Fortunately, the low would be able to move quickly away from the coast on Wednesday morning and head out to churn up the Tasman Sea before crashing down on New Zealand on Wednesday or Thursday. Image, 10 meters wind gusts at 7 a.m. est on Wednesday 24th. A GMWF model, image, significant wave heights at 7 a.m. est on Wednesday 24th, Wave Watch 3 model, be sure to stay up to date with weather zone as this system unfolds, 